All right. Welcome to the Criminal Justice Improvement Committee Grant Writing Workshop. I'm Keon Ash. I'm usually have a partner in crime, Navin Pure, but we're virtual today, so we're gonna get right into it. Hopefully, you know, it won't last too long, but I'm gonna get into the meat of things about how me and Navin would like you to upload your application and present your application to GCC. Um, it shouldn't be hard, it shouldn't be long. So uh, let's get into it. All right, our mission statement for the Criminal Justice Improvement Committee is to encourage proactive and innovative programming and methodologies that improve the criminal justice system. Desired improvements include reducing and discouraging violent crimes and associated problems, enhancing all aspects of criminal justice processing to include the incarceration and treatment of offenders, and advancing justice system operations. All right, this year, 2021 funding priorities, local law enforcement block grants. That's we're focusing on governmental on that one. Uh, nonprofits usually do not get this grant. So statewide training and statewide accreditation is mostly for governmental and nonprofits. Local law enforcement block grants, the max is 24.5. For one year, the minimum is 10,000. This year, we're only focusing on equipment only. Just like the previous years, we're only equipment. Uh, points to remember, items that are not allowed are air cards, phone lines, and other long-term contractual services, no vehicles this year. Um, any vehicle that is registered with North Carolina Department of Motor Vehicles cannot be purchased. Uh, agencies that submit multiple applications will automatically be disqualified. So just submit one application. Um, most agencies will be under this law enforcement um, priority um, block grant. Agencies that are, are requesting body worn cameras must have a departmental policy of the body worn cameras. Bulletproof. Uh, let's see. Bulletproof vests must be. American made. Um, you will have to have a certification of policy must be received by GCC within 30 days of grant implementation prior to their purchase. You would get you would you just contact your grant administrator when you uh, upload that in the in GMS. All right, this is what um, nonprofits should listen to and other government agencies that would like to do a statewide training and statewide accreditation um, grant. The, the criminal justice and Committee realized that the importance of training for all law enforcement. This came about with um, everything's going on in the world, um, you know, uh, police shooting and defunding um, police officers. So you would like to, if you'd like to do this accreditation, please listen to this. Um, North Carolina is a large state as well, over 400 towns and city police departments and 100 sheriff's offices. It is imperative that the local law enforcement, regardless of size and wealth, be trained in sound criminal justice policies, procedures, and live training scenarios. National accreditation standards are one practical way to help achieve this. These standards will help raise the level of professionalism among law enforcement agencies. It will also ensure that public at large is aware that their officers and deputies have received baseline training on how law enforcement officials should conduct themselves. As such, the Criminal Justice Improvement Committee is seeking applicant applications for statewide training and law enforcement officials, as well as applications for establishing accreditation standards and ensuring those standards are met by every law enforcement agency in our state. This is what you need to look at. The Criminal Justice Improvement Committee will be accepting applications for state agencies, local agencies, and nonprofits to apply for statewide training and statewide accreditation projects that will enhance this and assist law enforcement officials. These applications will be for only one year. These applications will still need to be reviewed and scored by the committee and nonprofits who apply must show and prove, you must show and prove a prior successful track record in their training curriculums. Applicants can apply for up to 200,000 per year, but must be able to show the statewide impact of the training. This website right here is, is a good resource to show uh, what works in the criminal justice um, and juvenile justice and crime victim service um, community. Um, it's a good website. You should um, um, keep in your tab in, in your favorites if you want to apply for um, some 
to the community. Uh, for our grant process, we're doing mostly equipment. So um, I guess you can look at this to see how if what equipment will work in the community. However, it's just mostly equipment. So it should be short and simple when you um, apply for the grant. General information to be included in all project narratives. Explanation of budget items should be pro provided in the project narrative. Provide an estimation of number of participants for the training project and the impact that it will have in state have statewide. All right, nonprofits. You must strictly follow and establish reporting guidelines for all progress and implementation reports as outlined in this website below. Um, please look at the website. Um, get familiar with that website if you're a nonprofit. Most most verified nonprofit stat status would when submitting their applications are current 501c3 certifications must have a valid federal tax ID number required to provide a copy. You're required to require, provide a copy of agency general account procedures of operating oversight structure and current financial statements with your applications. That's for nonprofits. Other general information for um, nonprofits should have a letter of commitment or collaboration from their proposals from state or local partner government agencies. A lot of time, nonprofits will join up with um, local law enforcement and they will come up with a grant or local law enforcement will um, actually um, apply for the grant for the nonprofit and they will, you know, um, come together and work on that uh, project. A site visit by GCC staff will be required prior to the application being considered for funding. So we will come out and check and see if you can fund this project prior to giving you any money. Nonprofits you must listen to that. We will come out and do a site visit. Uh, sustainability, you heard about this all morning. Um, the funds awarded by Governor's Crime Commission must most are mostly intended for seed money. All applicants must submit a long-term sustainability plan. That they must clearly explain how and from whom they plan to secure funding and program and program continuation after the end of the project grant period. Um, this is true for a lot of grants at GCC. However, we would like you to, when you buy the equipment, when you see the equipment you your agency, buy it and close the grant. You will not be able to seek additional funding through North Carolina Governor's Crime Commission. So 24-5 is the max, 10,000 is the minimum. I always tell people to go for the 24-5 because if we if we have any money left, we might give it out. However, you should go for 24-5 at the beginning so you know you have your money to, to secure the equipment that you need for your project. Why seek alternative funding? As we know, you heard in the, in the news, next year is not clear by a long shot. We don't know if we're going to get the money or not. The, the, the decreasing number of federal JAG dollars to North Carolina each year, um, they decrease in every year. Uh, one year was 15 million, now it's almost 4 million. We never know. It could be a million, it could be 500,000. Um, CGI funding priorities change from year to year. CGI funding is intended to seed new programs. CGI funding may not be available to grantees after two or three grant cycles. Grantees are expected to have independent funding. Funding is competitive. Not all applications are funded. Sustainability. When you, you name three sp specific activities that will be accomplished during the first year of the grant. Financial sustain to fin financially sustain projects once the grant ends. Like I said before, you're doing equipment. Get the equipment, get your reimbursement. Name community resources that have the potential to partially sustain your project in the future. Provide a brief description of your plan to financially sustain this project after the one year grant period. Okay, so we're about more about statewide training and accreditation. Local law enforcement, like I stated before, get your equipment, pay for your equipment, close your project. All right, before you begin, stop. Every applicant must have a DUNS number and, a res and register with the NCID. If you're already um, been through the process, you more than likely have everybody on your organizational role has the NCID. If you have changed anybody on your organizational role, make sure they have an NCID. 
This will stop your process when you're submitting your project. You also will have to have a SAMS um, number. Please have your SAMS number. Every applicant must have an active SAM registration at the time of application and must renew yearly. This will put your application on hold if this number is not up to date. Authorizing officials, financial officers, and project directors must have an individual NCID. They discussed that earlier um, in the workshop. All right. So everybody always send in all crazy names um, about, you know, a project. This is how me, Navin and I would like to um, have the projects come in. We would like to have your fiscal year, your organization, and your project name. Examples are below. So remember fiscal year organization and project name, then we can process the applications much faster. All right, preparing a successful application. Uh, questions to answer. Who are you? How do you qualify? What problems will you address and how? Who will benefit and how? What objectives will what objectives will you accomplish and how you measure results? Time and reason grant proposals are declined. Proposals do not meet the priorities. So with that, that statement saying, hey, I want equipment, but I apply for a statewide training under the statewide training accreditation. So it could get declined if we don't catch it. Proposals do not follow the prescribed format. Proposals are poorly written or difficult to understand. The proposed budget grant request is not within funding range. There are no demonstrations of a need for this project. Law enforcement always always need equipment. So we need you you need to get this money so you can provide the services to the community. Um, the objectives and implementation plan is not realistic. The proposal has an excess budget. So it's 24-5, but you're asking for $40,000. Yes, we're going to do a modification and condition. However, at the beginning of the project, make sure you stay under 24-5. Question the ability, credibility of the uh, applicant. You might um, have problems in the past with GCC. You, you submit an application, you're fussing with people, um, you, you're going to your city uh, city council, however you want to handle it, but you you are a problem. We do not need problems with CJI. We're trying to help everybody. We have allocated all the funding for the grant cycle. No evidence grant will be self-sustaining after the grant period ends. The application was not reviewed and properly submitted prior to submission deadline. They stated before, uh, when is it? January 31st is uh, a Sunday. Please submit your application on time. Even if you have an issue, submit the application on time. There's a lot of applications that do not get submitted on time. That's great applications. But the project was not submitted on time. So we have to decline that project or the committee would decline that project because it's other people that submitted it on time and it might not even be right. However, they submitted it on time and they got those funds. All right, all budget items must be explained or justification made for expenditures in the project narrative. So this is like, so this is like on this one, office supplies. Office supplies will be 5,000 or below. Anything, that's one purchase. Print cartridges, toner, software, uh, other high price items under 5,000 should be itemized under supplies. If you have equipment, we're not talking about um, bullets for $100 a piece. We're talking about um, a scanner that's 5,500. That will be considered equipment. So anything over 5,000, is considered equipment. Anything under 5,000 is considered supplies. All right, so we we talked about sustainability and we talked about, um, I showed your website about resources that you can go look at and um, right. We have additional funding here at GCC for law enforcement. And it's under the CVS uh, committee. It's called the Violence Against Women Act. I don't know if you heard of it before. I never heard of it before I got here five years ago. However, it's a federal funding through the Department of Justice Office of Violence Against Women. VAWA provides funding to programs that improve North Carolina criminal justice system response to violence against women. 
25% of our program funding must be awarded, oh, sorry, must be awarded to law enforcement to combat domestic violence, dating violence, sexual assault, and stalking, emphasizing training. All right, I just um, mentioned all this for victims, specifically for crimes of domestic violence. This is what BI was funding um, by law enforcement agencies to address crime through dedicated personnel programs that collaborate with nonprofits and other um, criminal justice professionals. Um, programs for viable can include, but not limited to, domestic violence investigators and sexual assault investigators. All right, we got questions, but I'm gonna give you uh, some tips, some real good tips that will help you. Um, first off, do your application early. So if you have any questions, you can contact Navin or I. Um, uh, email address and, and phone numbers is all over the web. Um, Again, submit it on time. Submit it before, uh, when that would say Christmas. However, submit it before January 31st, Sunday, because February 1st, you're out of time. So submit it on time because we're trying to fund everybody. However, we must you must submit it on time. That's one thing, that's one, the, the biggest tip I can give you is to submit it on time. You're doing, most of the time you're doing a basic equipment grant. If you have any questions, email us. We ask emails all the time, but you must submit it on time. That's the, that's the number one tip I can give you because if you don't, you will not be able to get a CGI grant that we're gonna give that money to somebody else. So if you have any questions, um, you can contact Navin or I. I'll try to make it short for you. Um, and uh, we thank you for you know all the all everything that you do for the state of North Carolina and the community as law enforcement as nonprofit. We appreciate everything you do. Contact us. We're here for you. And um, you know, thank you.